Hello, this is Afil Elbanson and welcome to the Young Achievers Network. I trust that these podcasts are helping you move your life in the direction that you want. If these podcasts have been helping you, please help me grow my channel. Like this video so that the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to more people. Share with your friends, comment on the video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet subscribed. God bless you for helping me grow this channel. We are looking at how to create a strategy for your life. Now we looked at the strategy and I want to also define what it is again from yesterday's discussion. A strategy is a way of organizing your resources for long-term benefits. So your success is determined by how well you organize the resources that are available to you. And we looked at some of those resources, money, time, skill, knowledge and education, your mind, your will, relationships, your personality, opportunities, electronic devices. There are so many resources available to us. And if we are able to use those resources effectively, we will be able to move our lives forward. So how do we create a strategy for our lives so that we can organize our resources around that strategy? Number one, Know your outcome. What outcome do you want? What is the vision in your heart? What is your dream? What do you want to achieve? Be specific and stretch your faith a little. Be clear. What exactly do you want in 10 years time? What exactly do you want to achieve with your life? Now remember, if your dream doesn't excite you, you will not pay the price to achieve it. It must excite you. And so instead of having a dream of having $100,000 in 10 years time, why not have the dream of having $1 million in 10 years time? Wouldn't that excite you to be a millionaire in 10 years time? So know your outcome. The vision you carry in your heart will give you energy to live. And as you go through this year and other people are falling and giving up and quitting, because they have no vision for their lives, you will have a vision for your life and you will organize your resources around that vision. And in 10 years time, you will achieve that vision. Even before 31st December of this year, you will have achieved some measure of success. You must make progress. And without a vision, people perish. The people who are rich had a vision that they were going to be rich doing something. The people who are poor had no vision. The people who are successful had a vision. Now, having a vision does not guarantee that you will not fail along the line, but it does guarantee that at the end of the day, you will succeed. Number two, identify your resources. What available resources will help you achieve your dream for the next 10 years and even achieve your New Year's resolutions? What resources are available? We made mention of some of them, as I said, time, money, mind, people, personality, relationships, education, knowledge, skills, electronic gadgets, all of these opportunities, they are all forms of resources. There are many, many of those resources. So what resources do you have available? Write them down. After you have written down your vision in a brief sentence, write down the resources that are available to you. How much of these resources do you have? How much time do you have in a day? How much money do you have? When I talk of how much time do you have in a day, I'm talking of after you've closed from work and when you have subtracted your six to eight hours of sleep, how much time is available to you? That's how much time you have left in a day to pursue your dream. How much money do you have after you've paid the bills and you've taken care of what needs to be taken care of? Look beyond what your eyes can see. There are hidden resources. Use your imagination and you will discover resources that you thought were not there. So how much time do you have at your disposal? What natural talents do you have? How much energy do you have? In other words, how long can you work before you are exhausted? For how long can you work before you are exhausted? You need to know that you can work maybe 
four hours straight before you are exhausted or eight hours straight before you are exhausted or 12 hours before you are exhausted know this what relationship resources do you have what knowledge and education have you acquired what skills have you developed what kind of personality have you developed what is your temperament are you a choleric the one that is bold as a leader but easily angered are you a phlegmatic calm can get along with everybody but easily upset are you a melancholy you are the perfectionist you can do things to the key level but you pay too much attention to detail or are you the sanguine the one who gets along with everybody but you can make friends today and break the same friendship tomorrow what is your temperament what kind of mindset do you have is it a pessimistic mindset a negative one or an optimistic mindset a positive one these are all resources how powerful or strong is your will are you easily convinced to do something are you easily deceived or does it take a long time to be convinced what opportunities are available to you right now look around you think carefully what opportunities are around you what electronic gadgets do you have at your disposal maybe your phone you have a laptop or you have a tablet or you have a television these are resources and how are you going to use those resources to move you to the next level how much money do you have and how much money do you need to achieve your dream for the next 10 years or achieve your resolutions for this year so you need to identify your resources and how much of each resource you have number three take the first step don't try to jump steps take the first step don't be afraid you are going to be all right even if you fail get up and do it again change your approach and do it again don't quit you are capable of succeeding take the first step the first step is always the hard one but when you take the first step you will see the next step and then you see the next step and then you see the next step so take the first step don't be afraid be bold and move forward number four if you are not seeing the results you want to see change your approach if you take the step and you are not seeing the results you want to see after repeating the steps a few times change your approach and keep changing your approach as you take the first step and you don't see the results ask yourself what changes must i make to see the results i want to see what must i change what must i start doing what must I stop doing? Finally, keep improving your strategy and updating your resources until you get the results you want. You keep improving, you keep changing, you keep getting better until you get the results you want. So let's see how we apply this. Let's say you want to start a business or you want to get married. Know your outcome. I want to start a business selling computer parts or I want to start a business developing apps for people whatever the business is just write I want to start a business and then the area you want to go into be clear be specific and make sure that it excites you I want to get married to a man who is like this like this like this like this and describe the man I want to get married to a woman who is like this like this and describe the woman we are applying the strategy in the context of business and marriage. Then you identify your resources. So how much time do I have at my disposal? I must now learn how to develop apps. I must take a course in developing apps. I must spend time to get to know people so that I can meet the man or woman I want to marry. What natural talents do I have? So which of my natural talents will help me develop the apps or start the business or run the business which of my natural talents can i use to appeal to the man or the woman how much energy do i have 
So as you are coding, as you are learning to run the business, how long do you, do you need to work for? How much energy are you going to invest in working on the business? How much energy are you going to invest in the relationship? Or are you going to easily get bored after a 30-minute conversation? What people do I know who can help me develop this app? Or who can help me enroll on this course? Or who can help me start this business and run it? What people do I know who can advise me? What people do I know who can give me advice about relationships? What people do I know whose marriages are wonderful and they can advise me? We are applying what we've learned. What knowledge and education can I acquire to run the business or to make the relationship a success? What skills must I develop to make the business a success? What skills must I develop to make the relationship a success? What is my personality? And is my personality good enough to make this business a success or do I need someone to help? Is my personality good enough to relate well with someone like this that I want to marry? Or do I need to make some changes in my personality? What kind of mindset do I have towards business? Do I believe I'm going to succeed in the business or do I believe I'm going to fail? Do I believe the relationship will work or do I believe that it will fail? When it comes to making decisions, can I make a decision about the direction of the business and stick to that decision? Or will I make a decision and the next day change my mind? Can I decide on exactly the man or woman I want to marry or am I easily confused when I have a number of options? These are all ways of applying. Then take the first step. Maybe for the business, you try and write your first app or you try and purchase your first item and sell it. You say, oh, I need money to do the business. Yes, you need money. So if you, the money you have can purchase only three items, go and buy those three items and sell them. Then use the money you've got to buy more items and sell. And that's how you start the business. You don't need a shop. You don't need an office. What you need is to be able to get the product and sell it to someone. Get someone to buy what you are selling. So take the first step. Go out on a date. Get to know a man. Get to know a woman. But don't go sleeping around on your first date. Wait. Get married first. Get to know the person. And then if you're not seeing results, make changes. If you're not seeing results in the business, make changes. If you're not seeing results that you want in a relationship, make changes. Maybe you must change your approach in the relationship or your approach in the business or you must change the relationship. In other words, change your partner and start dating someone else because maybe the person is hard to deal with. Or maybe change the business because the business is not conducive for the skills and talents and natural abilities that you have. And then you keep on improving yourself. Keep on adding value to yourself till you eventually see the results you want. I trust that this podcast has been helpful to you. If it has, give me a like, give me a thumbs up and help me grow this channel. This has been Afford L. Banson on the Young Achievers Network. Sayonara.